Amy Bates, um, we're talking about a new event here at the Game Fair, and that is the Estates Challenge, and uh, it uh, sounds quite competitive. Very excited about the Estate Challenge because it's the inaugural event um, happening here at Harwood uh, at the Game Fair, and we're really, really excited. It's four people in a team, two keepers and two picker-uppers, and the pickers will have two dogs each, and what will happen is the gamekeepers will shoot on the clay line, collect a score, and then that score will equate to how many dummies, birds, if you like, uh, that the pickers will go into the Drake's Head Arena and pick. So we're very, very excited because they also win a Mitsubishi 4x4 truck for the estate to use for the year and the Levengill Cup. That sounds a great idea, and I know I'm sure that they're all going to be uh, you know, keen on the competition between the estates especially. Absolutely, because uh, keepers are very competitive and they'll all want to collect really fabulous shooting scores. And the picker-uppers, well, they'll just have a ball um, game-finding with their dogs. The point of the estate challenge isn't to showcase field trial dogs or dogs that win in lots of competitions. If they want to use them and they're part of their regular picking-up team, then that's fine. The idea behind the estate challenge is to showcase all sorts of dogs picking up. So if you've got a terrier or a lurcher that's a fabulous dog out on a shoot day, we want to see that. If you've got a labradoodle or a springador, we want to see that, as well as spaniels and labradors, of course. Yes, the professional dogs, so you almost might call them, because you know they are expensive professional dogs, really, aren't they? Oh, yes, and I mean, we love them, and there's wonderful uh, demonstrations going on in the gun dog section all throughout the three days of the game fair. But the estate challenge is really to showcase real dogs picking up. <laughs> so you're in preparation for the estates challenge, are you? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah I'm here to help Ivy and, uh, and to run the estates challenge, which has been kindly sponsored by Mitsubishi. Yeah. So... Uh, what preparation do you need to make with your with your team and, and the rest of the estate? Um, well, <laughs> judging by the competition here, someone wasn't shooting very well. No, no. I, I, I should think as long as the as long as the keepers have put plenty of practice in and uh, they're shooting well, and the picker up team have uh, have got their their dogs out with them, that that should all go well. It's nice, isn't it, to show off uh, these very traditional jobs. Yes, it is, yeah, and uh, part of the estate challenge is to, to get the pickers up out. Um, they're very often uh, an unsung part of the shoot team, a uh, very important part of the shooting team, and uh, quite often they're, they're not the dogs that you see at competitions, but uh, it's a very important part of the shoot day, so they'll be able to bring them here uh, to the game fair and uh, show what they can really do. Uh, finally, Nick, take us through uh, a typical week for you uh, at your job. What would you do? A uh, typical week for me this time of year, we're busy uh, tunnel trapping, which means uh, we're trapping predators all over the estate, which can range from stoats and weasels to squirrels and rats. Uh, we're obviously after foxes all the time and um, trying to preserve the, the wild birds that we have, which in turn has uh, a, a knock-on effect for the songbirds, which is uh, part of our conservation uh, exercise that we do. And a very important thing too. How about badgers? How are you, how are you for badgers out your way? Badgers, uh, we have a few. Yeah, yeah, we do have a few, but they're not as many as they are down the West Country. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Good. Well, good luck in the preparation. Then uh, you better get uh, you know your eye in on some of those uh, shots. I think. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> and who's likely to win then? <gasps> well, it's anybody's guess. Uh, whatever state catches the judge's eye and the best score. So we want estates to come from way down south to way up north. And what we'd really like is them all to turn up in their estate tweeds. <laughs>